بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين uh, The Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم told us that one of the signs of the hour is that time will seem, will feel closer and this is reported by Al-Bukhari meaning you you go to a day and then before you know it that day is actually a week ago and then it's a month ago it's a year ago you don't feel the time and how rapid it's finishing and uh, the alternation of the days and the nights go so fast that you don't feel the barakah in uh, in your time and therefore uh, one has to be careful. Uh, today, we mark the middle of the month of Ramadan. And it feels that it just started yesterday. We, at least personally, I feel that it's only been yesterday that we started Ramadan. And before we knew it, half of it is gone. In the beginning of Ramadan, usually people are motivated, they, they, uh, their zeal is high, they're strong, and because they feel the new taste, uh, the change in their lives, the change in their ibadah. They, uh, they feel that sweetness of the ibadah, their heart is humble with Allah Azza wa Jal. But unfortunately, it gradually goes down and declines. And after the first week or two, some people feel that the acts of worship they're doing, siyam for example itself, uh, salah, it becomes like a routine. And they lose that zeal, they lose that sweetness they had in their hearts. So what are means, what are things that one can do in order to regain this sweetness in the heart, maintain this zeal that he started Ramadan with, before we look and we say, oh, Ramadan ended last week, and we did not utilize it properly. Number one is that we need to remind ourselves with the intention behind this ibadah, and that we are doing this, we are fasting, we are going through this month, we're persevering, giving up things that we want and we desire and we like for the sake of Allah, to gain the pleasure of Allah, to be deserving of the reward of Allah Azza wa Jal. Work on our intention is what I mean. Number two is that we need to remind ourselves that the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, whoever fasts Ramadan, out of faith and with the hope of getting the reward of Allah will get all his previous sins forgiven. Now that is not for fasting a week of Ramadan or 10 days of Ramadan. That is deserving when one fasts the month of Ramadan. So we need to remind ourselves with that in order to maintain that zeal until the end of the month. And that does help. Reminding ourselves with the virtues of Ramadan and for fasting people, rather fasting people, not Ramadan itself. And that Allah Azza wa Jal will please the slave when he meets him on the day of judgment. Why? Because Allah Azza wa Jal did not disclose the magnitude of reward for fasting. So the slave will become happy, will rejoice, Allah will please him on the day of judgment, as much reward as he will see on the scale of his good deeds. Remind ourselves that there is a door, one of the doors of Jannah, al rayyan is only for those who fast, so we need to work hard on maintaining this zeal, so we'll be one of those who will be deserving to enter from that. Uh, Remind yourself that the smell of your mouth is dearer to Allah 
is better in the sight of Allah Azza wa than the, the smell of musk. And that acts of worship during this month are facilitated by Allah Azza wa Jal. And a call is made, Ya Baghi al Ghayri, Aqbil. Oh, you who want, good, want goodness, come forward. It's facilitated for us. Now, uh, we said that Allah Azza wa Jal promised, as the Prophet Sallallahu informed us, and this is reported by Imam Ahmad and classified as authentic by Al-Albani. Uh, the Prophet ﷺ told us that Allah Azza wa Jal has a, a set number of people every night in Ramadan uh, whom he will free from the fire of hell. Now, since we don't know which day we will be freed, we don't know if we have been freed in the first half of Ramadan, then we need to maintain our zeal we need to maintain working hard, striving very strong to be amongst those whom he subhanahu wa ta'ala promised to free from the fire of hell. So there is no time to become lazy and relax. It's only two weeks remaining in Ramadan. Uh, the next point is to remind ourselves in order to maintain this zeal and the momentum that we started with, we need to remind ourselves with the loss, with the warning. It was a stern warning the Prophet ﷺ gave when he said, uh, whoever lives long enough until he reaches Ramadan and then goes through Ramadan and dies and Allah did not forgive him and Allah Azza wa threw him in the fire of hell, so may Allah Azza wa keep him far. The commentators of the hadith said, keep him far, meaning keep him far from his mercy. Now, some people might focus in Ramadan on Qiyam al-Layl. Some may focus on uh, reciting the Quran. So what I advise here in order to maintain the momentum to Force yourself not to become lazy and not to lose this zeal of ibadah and trying to achieve the objective is that we diversify the acts of worship. Pray, recite Quran, uh, recite dhikr, read books, attend lectures on uh, a certain series of lectures, for example, uh, on tafsir, on seerah, on fiqh, on whatever that are available on online in order to renew uh, to boost your uh, energy by diversifying the acts of worship. Another thing that we need, we need to remind ourselves with in order to maintain the momentum and not lose juice and not lose zeal is that the first half is gone and that went just like this so we don't have time to waste and we don't have time to slow down and we don't have time to become lazy we have to work hard before we look back and see that the second half is already gone as well so reminding ourselves that this is gone and reminding ourselves with the hadith we started the lecture with that one of the signs of the hour is that time passes and you don't feel how fast it passes until it's gone. Well, we need to remind ourselves with this all the time. Finally, we need to remind ourselves that we're alive now. Ain't no guarantees that we'll be living next year and have the opportunity of fasting Ramadan, worshiping Allah Azza wa Jal in Ramadan, instilling good things in our good record, just like we have the chance now. So make use of it while it lasts, before you lose it, and alas, it's too late then. I would like to conclude the live session with beautiful words which Shaykh al-Uthaymeen rahmatullahi alayhi 
said in one of the years during Ramadan, he said, and the time he said this or he delivered this uh, lecture was after the first 10 nights have finished or 10 days have finished from Ramadan. He said, it appears, it feels to me as if we just started. But, he said, the second 10 are better than the first 10 and the last 10 are better than the rest of the month. And he based his argument on the following. He said, don't you see that the last part of the day on Jumu'ah is the best part? Though Jumu'ah is distinct, but the last part of Jumu'ah is more virtuous. That's when Dua is answered. Likewise, Arafah is a pillar in Hajj. As a matter of fact, it is so important that the Prophet ﷺ said, Al-Hajj Arafah. Hajj is Arafah. As important as it is, and as virtuous as it is. Yet the last hour of, or the last part of that day before sunset, is the best time. Likewise, Allah Azza wa Jal promised those who perform Qiyam abundant reward. But those who go at the last part of the night, that last third of the night, when He, the Almighty, descends in a way that befits His majesty, is the best part of that night. So it's the end of the night. Likewise is Ramadan. Ramadan the farther you go from the beginning, the better it becomes and the most, more virtuous it gets. Brothers and sisters, let us remember, we are in a race against ourselves, against the devils who are not chained, against time, and against our own deeds. The wrong deeds we have, we are in a, in a race to try to make up and build up the record of good deeds as much as we possibly can during this month. So we have to make sure that we do not slow down. We have to make sure that this last part of Ramadan, the remaining part of Ramadan, and the closer you get to the end of Ramadan, the more you need to work. Don't you see that when there is a race, a horse race, horses don't slow down at the end. Rather, they go at the fastest pace they can and they exert the best effort they can. They put all the energy they have in order to win that race. So let us at least be like horses. And let's take advantage of what's left this chance can be the last chance. I ask Allah Azza wa Jal to enable us all to make use of what's left in Ramadan in the best manner that pleases Allah Azza wa Jal and benefits us the best. Allahumma ameen. And with this I conclude. Subhanak Allahumma bihamdik. Ashhadu an la ilaha illa ant. Astaghfiruka wa atubu ilayk.